YouTubers, this is Mini Girl with Hobby Hot Tips and today I am wearing my brick shirt because I'm going to show you how I do bricks and cobblestone, that sort of thing for either your mini bases, you can use it on your game table, terrain, even your vehicles if you wanted, whatever. Sky's the limit. So let me show you how I do it. I'd love to see how you do it. Here we go. So first off, add super glue to the object that you want the bricks to go on to. And those new to green stuff, this is an epoxy that you can easily mix along with a little bit of Vaseline. Some people use water. Smooth it out until it looks like this. Um, using Vaseline is nice because it makes it very pliable and it doesn't leave any fingerprints. It's very slippery though, so keep a paper towel nearby. Here I'm adding Vaseline to the back of my template and I'm using this for my bricks. Again, all the items used in this tutorial can be found in the description of this video and links to them. So I decide on this style and size of bricks and I roll over it and then use the end of my paintbrush to push out the bricks. Then I peel away my template stencil and it cleans off very easily. I just get my scraper and it's waterproof too, which is really nice. In the meantime, I'm gonna let the green stuff set for about two hours. Here's a hot tip. Be sure to wipe off the excess Vaseline on the green stuff with rubbing alcohol or rinse with soap and water. This is so your paint can actually stick to the bricks. Um, now I've put PVA glue on the areas that are not bricked and I'm running it through clay sand. Next I'm going to do my grout and I mix sort of a brown and gray color together. And I'm going to paint just the bricks and this is going to be my grout like I said. I'm going to mix these to equal parts, one to one, and paint my sand. I'm going to use Beast Hide to actually paint my bricks. I'm going to use that template as my guide to paint my bricks because I'm wanting more of a weathered cobblestone look. So I'm going to paint it on very sloppily as you'll see here. But what's nice about having the guide is it keeps me staying away from the grout lines. I highly recommend using a black or a very, very dark brown shade or wash. In this case, I'm using Armor Wash by P3. And this is one of my favorite parts because you can really see the lines of the bricks instantly become three-dimensional. Now I'm mixing a one-to-one -one dry brushing the edges to give it some highlight and look like it has some wear and tear on the stones. I then super glue some turf and a little bush to give this base a little bit more character. Now I'm using a standard black acrylic that I bought from my local hobby store for about 69 cents and I'm going to use this to clean up my edges and sort of give it that final touch. But as I got looking at it, I wanted to give my bricks a little ruddier look. So I decided to mix these in equal parts and paint them on random bricks in little L shapes. I then dry brushed over those using Hammerfall khaki or you can just use any light tan to do the, the final dry brushing when you use this uh, little bit of ruddy red. Those of you interested in just painting on the bricks and not using green stuff, um, on your bases or buildings or game table, you can use the same template and just paint on any color acrylic paint that you want. And it leaves a very realistic look, very professional, and it's so fast to do. Um, this template is waterproof too, so you can easily just wash off the paint if you want. Next, I'm painting the back of the template a darker brown and then quickly matching up the bricks to sort of stamp on the grout lines. Pretty neat, huh? You can also use an airbrush for an even tidier look too if you want. Now remember, you can brick your entire base. For this demo, I decided to do a little bit of sand around the edges to show you that you can do that for a few of your bases, adding dimension to them, giving them some character. So be creative with the amount of options that you have using these bricks and the colors that you can make them. Maybe paint red brick with white grout or maybe black with moot green grout for your necrons. 
Most of all, have fun doing it. Here's some other basing tutorials and bases samples that I did that you can check out. It was fast, it was fun and done. So thanks for watching this tutorial and be sure to check out my other basing tutorials. I have some on lava, mud, snow, etc. And I'm gonna be coming out with more tutorials um, on basing and terrain and um, even putting stuff on buildings. So stay tuned and be sure to subscribe and like if you haven't already done so. Thanks again and see you soon. Bye.